and you may be wondering what appointment I'm going to. I'm going to the OBGYN. You need me to drive? I was gonna see if you could so I can hit it while I'm there. I've got the oh, I'm paying her by the hour. I don't know why she's not driving. I'm just I'm just Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Welcome to today's vlog. I recorded yesterday one freaking clip. Good morning guys and happy uh, Monday. <laughs> Monday. The kids are out of school except for Lincoln. He has school today, so we dropped him off, and now we had to get dressed really, really fast, so pardon the attire, but we had to come and drop off the option money for the house and also the earnest money for the house. Tatum's trying to save up for the house. No, not for the house. Oh, he wants to go to Target and buy something. No, but we're dropping that off, and we're waiting for Grandma Fran. Today is a holiday, so we couldn't drop it off at the title company. We actually had to go to the listing agent's it's president's house. president's day today. Yeah. Honoring all of our presidents. Who's... Did you get a bloody nose last night? No. You got blood on your nose. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. The title company is closed. That means we had to go to the listing agent's house because we could have dropped the earnest money off tomorrow, but the option money has to be done by today, and by we didn't want to have to make two drives. I'm going to go back and then go to Target. I gotta no, get... not. I'm going to go to Walmart. Target versus Walmart. We're going to Target. Walmart. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! No, Best no, out of no, three? Best no. out of three? Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Boom! Ah! <laughs> we have not actually vlogged for a couple days because we have been getting our house ready to put on the market. We have done so much stuff. Louie finished the flagstone outside. We put new mulch down. We patched holes that needed to be patched because we're having painters come. We actually have a painter going to be there in 20 minutes that's going to give us a quote on painting the whole downstairs. We cleaned all the windows. We cleaned the screens on the windows. P.S. Grandma starts, Grandma is starting packing. Grandma's already starting packing. <laughs> yes. She's crazy. We haven't even, we sold, haven't the even house sold the yet. house. And she's already packing. She's crazy. You guys didn't know, Camden actually woke up sick, so he is sick. He has a fever. 101, so he's gonna be home for a couple days. Basically, what did we have for dinner? I don't know, but your grandma's probably learning all about these types of homes. Where we're at is like a senior new, living. It's a new area. Yeah, um, who knows, she may come out and wanna buy one of these now. Wanna buy one of these? <laughs> one of these houses. <laughs> She's probably getting a hold to her. I told uh, Tatum, I said, Grandma's probably in there looking at her house wanting to move. No, here. <laughs> no, 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 we were literally. She was so nice. Oh, she was so sweet. She goes, you guys are the perfect family because Paul and Billy wanted somebody special to buy their house. You know, kind of like you mixed Sense, emotions. Yeah. Because they've lived there so many years and there's so many memories. And so they had these mixed emotions. So they wanted somebody special to buy their house. And so she said they've had a lot of viewers, a lot of lookers, a lot of interest. But they chose you because you guys are perfect for that house. Aww, That's what she told I me. Know. She goes, I want you to know, and this is so good. She goes, Paul was meticulous. She knows them. They're her friends. I know. They live in this community. She bought them a house here. Yeah. She said, they are meticulous. He had a little bit of an excavation problem by the garage, and it was a little off. So she said he hired an excavation company to come, and they actually repaired it, and it cost him $5,000. But she goes, he has done everything to that house. He's kept it up. It's good because, like yes. she said, if we have anything yeah. go wrong, to call them, yes. and they'll know everything about the house. 
and then I stopped recording because life got so freaking insane. I just don't even have time to pick up the camera to like put it somewhere so I can talk to you guys, so I can like set up a shot. It's all gonna be worth it in the end. We've just had a lot of changes all at once. We did not think we would have all these changes at once. And you know that saying they say when it rains it pours, that's literally what's going on right now. Not to mention it's raining outside right now. So yes, when it rains, it freaking rains and it's pouring right now. But we have so much to update you on. So last thing you saw is that we got the house. We went and we showed the kids the house. We dropped the earnest money off and all of that. So that's that on the house. We have an inspection going on tomorrow. That way we can like make sure like everything's good. We wanna move forward. We also have the painters coming to our house and we're painting our entire like living room, kitchen, foyer, up the stairs. Something we should have done a long time ago. If you wanna sell your house and you wanna sell it fast, the number one thing is to put a fresh coat of paint on because now people don't have to think about actually having to paint it themselves. So we have painters coming over tomorrow going to paint the house which has actually needed it for a long time just because you know we built the house. It was builder flat paint, tons of wear and tear with four kids. I told Lou, I was like, I'm gonna be late for my freaking appointment and he's like, you know what babe, what's meant to be is meant to be. And you may be wondering what appointment I'm going to. I'm going to the OBGYN and no, I'm not pregnant. It's just my annual pap smear, you know, the good old paps, paps. So yeah, that's where I'm going. Hopefully one day in the future, I'll be there for a baby. And a lot of you have asked an update of baby number five. And the update is right now, it is currently not being talked about or even happening because my sister is getting married in nine months from now. <laughs> And if I want to make it to her wedding, my booty better not get pregnant. I want to be able to really, you know, you only get married once if that's what the path takes you. And that's what my sister is planning on. So she's only going to get married once. And that means I want to be able to enjoy all the fun festivities and not have to like sit out because I'm pregnant or be pregnant there. I really want to enjoy everything. So yeah, I am not going to be getting pregnant for the next nine months. I'm going to, oh my gosh, if I went the wrong way, I'm going to be so freaking mad. Why is it saying, oh, I went the right way. Okay. I'm super late guys. So yeah, if I want to enjoy all the stuff that it entails with her wedding, then my booty better not get pregnant. So right now, number five is currently on hold until October. We tried for a couple months and nothing happened. We tried when we were on my trip to Puerto Vallarta. We tried while we were in New York. And when I say try, it's not like we were like, okay, let's just do it to make a baby. We just like, what happened happened and it didn't happen. Which everything happens for a reason because in the long run, I can't imagine moving and doing all of this while pregnant. So yeah, what's meant to be is meant to be. And I truly, truly, truly believe that. Just now enjoying <laughs> the fun of moving and getting everything situated. It's a lot more stressful buying a house when you're selling a house. The last house, we owned a house and then we built, which is kind of nice because you have months and months and months of, okay, we can get this house ready, we can get everything we want done on it, and then we can put it up for sale. When you find a house and you find a house and you have to move quickly, you have a lot of stuff you have to get ready for, such as hire the painters, get all the honeydews ready. Like you're wanting to make your house look presentable, which I know a lot of you are gonna say, Nicole, your house is always like put together. It is, I'm not worried about that part. It's more of the logistics, like the mulch and the flagstone in the backyard. And we have worked our booty off this weekend. And so yeah, that is what is going on. I'm about to go to my appointment. I am 11 minutes late. The time I get there, I'll probably be 20 minutes late. Let's hope they see me. Hey, 
need a call. Hey, what are you doing? A little update. I got to my appointment and they wouldn't see me. They said I was too late. I was 15 minutes late and so they needed to reschedule me. Now I have to go back in a couple days and honestly, they're 30 minutes away. It's a pap smear. I know I need to get it done, but I may put it off a month just so I can breathe because life right now is crazy. Fran just messaged me that Lincoln pooped in the potty. So maybe it's time to start potty training again. Just another thing I need to throw into the mix. Oh gosh. Y'all, I can't right now with everything. <sighs> but you know what? Just like I said before my appointment, if I missed it, I missed it. And it's totally okay. Did I want to go to the appointment? Yes. But I respect people's time. And if I'm late, I don't want to put them all off because I was late to my appointment. So instead, I'm just going to let it be. Did you go caca in a potty? Big caca. Big caca? Here, let's tell daddy. You ready? No. No. Look it. There was a little. A rock. Tell daddy. Daddy. Guess what? Lincoln has something to tell you. You went a big boom. Oh, good job. No, it was a little rock. A little rock on the potty. All right, chill. It's been a while since we vlogged. We take things off the walls like this plain wall. All the walls are looking so plain in here because we have to get ready for the painters tomorrow. They're gonna come and paint all the walls. We've lived here for the last six years and my kids have loved our walls with their little fingers. And so we just have the builder's flat paint and in time it just gets really, really dirty. And so you can see like this wall just has some touch ups to do. The painters are coming tomorrow to do all of the kitchen all of the living room, even the high ceilings, all of the dining room, all of the foyer, all the foyer, all the foyer, the entrance, the foyer. up the stairs. I know you guys can't see me. There we go. They're gonna do all in here, all up the stairs, all down the stairs because look, all the little sticky fingers, and all up here. They're doing everything. All of this area, they're painting. We're giving it a fresh coat of paint. And then soon this house will be on the market. Are you ready for this house to be painted tomorrow? I can't believe we're gonna do hot pink, but hey. <laughs> It'll totally sell hot pink. It's gonna pop. But we took everything off the walls in here, except like the big things. They're gonna move the big things away from the wall. They're gonna actually take these down for me are they? They're gonna take them down for me and then they're just gonna paint so the new owners can have it freshly painted, but I want those because I want them in my new house. Then we're gonna hire somebody to come put them back up in our new house. Those are so pretty. He doesn't have a whole lot of markup. Three, 3,000 for all of that? Yeah. Mm -mm. Two days worth of work? We got a really good quote. We actually had four people come by and give us quotes and he was the best price and also he was the most I think like legit like I got a crew I can do it fast yeah he has a lot of freaking people and he was like we come in we take everything down we supply the paint like he was like <laughs> for three thousand dollars to do all this 